Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of March the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Saggy. First up, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse position, followed next by the Nine of Wands upright. And then we have the High Priestess in the upright position, followed then by Four of Pentacles reversed. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall en energy, Saggy, you have that of the Five of Cups in the reverse position. I do prefer to see this energy reversed as opposed to upright because this is when we're kind of uh, crying over spilt milk, focusing more on on our disappointments and what we have lost than we are on what we still have standing. When it's reversed, however, this can be, this can represent healing energy, definitely. It's like we're healing, we're getting over the disappointment phase where we're kind of over it now. It's happened, it's done, we've dealt with it, and now we're ready to move past it and move on. So, very nice energy for overall, Sagittarius. Coming into the week, you have the Nine of Wands in the upright position. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is someone who has fought a lot of battles, a lot of challenges. He's a little worse for wear, but he's ready to fight again should he have to he just doesn't really want to because he's already uh battle weary he's definitely a little bit beat up but he's he's standing there uh stoutly ready to defend himself if he should need to now for some of you this could be connected to this five of cups energy maybe someone disappointed you or hurt your feelings or upset you in some way and uh, you're you're finally getting over it. Maybe you're feeling a little bit defensive about this particular relationship or situation. Now it's paired with the high priestess in the upright position, and um, the high priestess mainly speaks of um, hidden knowledge that we can access through coming into our intuition, listening to our intuition, doing some self-analysis, going within to try to figure out what is going on. Usually with the high priestess energy, it's there's hidden knowledge, but it's not like somebody is deliberately trying to hide things from you or deceive you, like the moon energy is more uh, likely about that. But this, um, this card here is definitely about hidden knowledge, but it's knowledge we can access because it's hidden from ourselves and it's within ourselves so we can definitely access it sometimes it would take some meditation perhaps or just sort of going within in order to touch base with that for others it could just be about listening to your gut feeling your gut instinct on something where whatever that tells you that's where you go now, moving towards the weekend of the 16th, 17th, you have the energies of the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. Four of Pentacles upright. This is um, representing the little hoarder cards I'm holding on to tightly. I prefer to see this energy inverted like this because this represents a, a letting go. We're not holding on so tightly. For some of you, it could be about material items maybe you're releasing some of your excess material things deciding to travel a little lighter for others of you it could be you're not holding on so tightly to your funds maybe you're not so concerned or so worried about finances at this time which is some nice energy now it's paired with major arcana the hierophant in the upright position this is a card that can uh represent organizations um the government, um, churches, religion, that type of thing, but it also governs contracts. So maybe some of you will be entering into a contract or some of you could be uh, seeking out spirituality through uh, spiritual groups or churches or things like that. Maybe joining congregations uh, from church communities, things like that. And for others of you, it could be representing a commitment coming your way um, in terms of a contract. Maybe it's a work situation for some of you. So um, I hope this reading helped you, Sagittarius. It's overall, it's not a bad reading. You have two um, major arcana in here, so there's a little bit of intensity going on. But it's nice that it looks like a lot of releasing and healing energy going on for you guys. So... 
if this reading did help you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now. Have a good one.